Ugh. It's been such a long day mining. Got all this new ore, or these bricks, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I've been just digging them up. As you can see, we got andesite, diorite, granite, and there's um there's polished versions of all of these blocks. So um yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the house. Oh, what's this? What's on my house? Oh goodness! Oh goodness! What is what is what is this? What are these flags? Oh my goodness! Can I pick it up? Oh, I can. It's a it's a banner. Oh goodness! Wow. Well, that's cool. Um, there we go. Okay, let's go into the house. Oh, what's a a, do a new door? Oh my god! Another new door? Another one? Oh my god, another one! No flippin' way. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 1.8 snapshot review. Um, there's been multiple snapshots for this update. Every snapshot obviously has been adding um, new blocks and new items added to the game. Now, um, this is a, um, a acacia door, this, with this door right here. Now, I've never really thought of this. I've, I have a multi couple times, actually, but, I mean, having multiple doors out of different wood, I mean, we gotta, you know, we gotta be honest, that, that was gonna happen sooner or later. That was just too obvious to not happen, um, when the new wood was added a while ago. So we got a jungle door, a birch door, spruce door, and a dark, uh, oak door. So I'm gonna show you real quick what they look like in more depth, and then we'll go talk about some other, other new blocks. I'm just gonna clear some space here so that way we can see what we're what the okay so that way we can see what we're doing. Um, this is the dark oak door that comes from uh, that that tree over there, dark oak trees. Um, this door looks more like a door that you would see in like a suburban area, like a neighborhood, uh, like a casual door, like for a um, a regular house. Um, a jungle door looks more of like uh, you know something that maybe if you live inside of a tree, you'll have this as a door, just because it like has little holes in it. Um, I don't know, it just looks like that type of door, in my opinion. And then we got the birch wood, which is like, um, a suburban door as well. Maybe like a back deck door or something, I don't know. But obviously you guys can, you know, you can utilize these different doors to your advantage and your creativity. This one sort of looks like a hobbit door or like a smurf village door. Um, but yeah, there's four new doors added and I'm just completely psyched for all of these um, items that are going to be in the game. I'm playing on the snapshot as you can tell by the title of the video and I'm just going to be reviewing some of the new blocks and stuff, some bug changes and some new world changes that are soon to come in 1.8. Now I'm going to show you something real quick before we go back into my house for some other cool things. Um, once again I'll show you the names of these doors so that way you can uh, you can know. Um, okay that's a bug right here that's a bug um, I just destroyed the doors and they all just went into my inventory as wooden doors so this updates not perfect but there's you know there's a bug right there for you and there are some bugs in this game um, so far but I'm pretty sure Mo Yang is gonna fix that as you guys can see when I was clearing the area a block was like still here even though I destroyed it and then it disappeared later there's some minor bug issues like that in this game so far, but other than that, this is an amazing update. I cannot wait for it to come out, and I'm really just pumped for it. So right off the bat, we have a new block here, and it's called Compressed Ice. Now basically, this is what they look next to each other. This is regular ice, and this is compressed ice. They take the exact same time uh, to break. Uh, this one will destroy grass on top of it. I don't know if it will freeze the general things in the area or not, but um, when you destroy it, it completely destroys. It doesn't leak water like this one does. Now I'm thinking compressed ice might be uh, more of a building block. Um, you can you can probably think of some um, ways that you can use this block to your advantage for just building stuff, being creative and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's a new block and it's a pretty cool looking block. Um, oh, see there you go. There's a bug right there. Um, like I said, little minor bugs, but for the most part, this update is actually really, really, really cool. I can't wait for it to come out. You slide on it, pretty much just the same as you do on uh, regular ice. I think you go a bit faster on this ice. Let me see. Oh, no, you go the same speed. All right, well, anyway, let's go back into the house, and um, I'm going to take my armor off because it's, it's pretty heavy. It's diamond. Diamond armor. It's getting pretty heavy. Might as well go ahead and take it off and... Um, 
put it in a chest. Or wait, maybe I don't have to put it into a chest. If only there was a uh, specific thing I could, you know, like a coat hanger. Oh wait, there is! <laughs> yes, indeed, it is called an armor stand. Uh, let me just take the downfall off here. Okay, so basically, it can hold any armor that you put on here. Colored, leather, iron, diamond, gold, you know, the drill. Um, but it does not hold any tools or anything. I can't put a sword on here. Um, so when you, you can um, right-click anywhere on the armor stand to put your stuff there. So let's say I want to put the hat on here. I don't have to right-click in the hat area. I can right-click on the foot area, and it will just automatically put them in the uh, designated spots. So that's a very cool feature. Um, it it kind of looks like a player, so it might scare some people. Like a scarecrow, maybe you, you've used an invisibility potion, and they can only see your armor, but they don't know that. Because from the back, I don't think they can see... Um, the actual wood. No, not really. And I'm destroying my house, so I should probably be careful. So, uh, yeah, this is a very cool feature, and I'm really excited for this to be in 1.8. Um, uh... Sorry about that. The duck has spoken. I just got a text message. Let me just go ahead and fix that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is basically some of the new features in this game. There's a lot of um, fixes in the, how the world generates called multi-threading. I'll get into that in a minute. And a bunch of new features on the options tab. On the difficulties, you can lock them. So let's say I want to lock it on peaceful. Just click that and then just click yes. Now basically what this is, is are you sure you want to lock the difficulty of this world? This will set the world and it will always be peaceful and you will never never be able to change it. You will never be, you'll never be able to change it um, to a different setting again. So I'm going to click no because I like to change mine. Uh, for the sake of this video, it doesn't really matter. But when I'm actually playing, I'll probably just keep it on like hard or normal or something like that. Or if you're having problems with creepers, just put it on peaceful and click save. Um, but I recommend not doing that for most people because if you want to change the difficulty at any time, I recommend just you know leaving that off. But you know for whatever reason you want to lock it, go ahead and lock it. Um, more security features added. Um, so yeah, and this chest here holds a bounty of goodness. All the new blocks and new mobs that have been added to this 1.8 update, and I just cannot wait to get into this with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, as you can see, this chest is pretty much full with all these new blocks that you can um, create. I think these blocks here, these sandstone items, I don't know if these are already in the game, but if they are, excuse me, I'm not sure. I have never seen them before. I just never used them. But if they're new to 1.8, yeah, here we go. There's new blocks. These are the only blocks I'm a bit skeptical about if they are actually in 1.8 or not. They could already be in the game. I just, I'm just not sure yet. So the banners that you guys saw outside are this one or are these here. They blow in the wind, so maybe if you put them like oh, an open window, it'd look more realistic, like the breeze is rolling in. But they come in 16 colors, and they stack and they stack in stacks of 16, like uh, wool, wool carpets, and all that. Sorry, there goes the duck again. <laughs> wow, it just ruined my video pretty much. Okay, anyway, it's fine. Like I said, the new blocks I was digging outside. We got diorite, um, andesite and granite and there's polished versions of each of these so I will allow you to check these out there we go polished versions they don't look much different they look smoother that's pretty much it um, there's a prismarine shard and prismarine crystals prismarine shards and prismarine crystals are blocks that drop from other items that have been newly added I'm not entirely sure what the use of these items are right here It kinda looks like a shark dorsal fin that's what it reminds me of that's what I thought it was at first honestly but uh, anyway so we got all these um, banners, prismarine shards and crystals. We got prismarine, dark prismarine, prismarine blocks, and a sea lantern. Now all of these blocks are used in the game for specific things. Now they're all in the use. For, um, they're all simultaneously used at the same time. Another bug issue right here: the door is half open when you click on them, and that's not a new feature. I thought it was, but it's just a bug. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and show you guys what these blocks do. Sea Lantern, obviously, the name is pretty self-explanatory. It lights up the sea. You can't really see it that well um, because it is during the day. But as you can see, there's like a little texture on the block as it's like pulsating. So when that gets darker, uh, we'll spawn in another one and we will um, go deeper underground or something. And uh, I will show you guys how, light, how much light it gives off. Um, but it gives the same light radius as a lan as a uh, jack lantern under the water so I don't really know the use of these things too well but y I do know where to find them 
So like I said, as you can see, the prism and crystals do come from other other blocks, which is the sea lantern. Now the sea lantern is used in something amazing, along with the prismarine blocks, dark prismarine, and the regular prismarine. These three blocks and the sea lantern, technically four, are all used together in underwater mob um, dungeons, which is uh, insane. It is uh, so cool. Cannot wait for those uh, to be in the game. But yeah, these blocks make up a um, an underwater dungeon that is going to have a, the new mob in it. One of the new mobs. There's three new mobs uh, so far that have been added. Now, I'm going to show you the one that's going to be in this, um, you know, in this... Uh, prismarine uh, dungeon so as you can tell already or if you can't dungeons are pretty rare to find so I'm not going to uh, think that these are going to be any easier they're probably going to be the same amount of um, difficulty to find let alone being deep under the ocean so it's going to might kind of be hard to find them sometimes because unless you have like um, you know aqua affinity or something so that way you can breathe underwater or whatever that enchantment is it might be aqua affinity I don't know anyway I don't really know how deep they are, but obviously you can look on the wiki and Mo Yang's website and updates for that. In the description, there's going to be a bunch of new stuff that you guys can check out for all the technical side of things, for like bug fixes and all that. I'm physically showing you the blocks here, but there's going to be new stuff added, um, you know, ex to the game except blocks. Some features that may help the game run faster. So... Like I said, uh, I'm kind of out of breath from talking so fast. Anyway, like I said, there is a new mob that's going to be added, and it's called the Guardian. It's an underwater fish that sucks, the, literally it sucks the life out of you with a magic beam. They're very dangerous, but if you kill them, they drop raw fish. Not every time. I, I don't think every time, but for the most part, they do. As you can see, here he is, and he's sucking the life out of a squid over there. So these guys walk around sucking the life out of everything. They're pretty quick in the water, and as you can see, it's sucking the life out of me now. And, um, it, I think it pulls me closer, too. Or no, it doesn't. <laughs> I just fall to the bottom. But, yeah. Once it does it a couple times, it can take up to three to four hearts of damage at a time. As you can see, it is completely murdering me, and I think I'm about to die. Um, and it goes from a pretty long distance, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna die in a second. I should probably go to game mode C. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the, the range on this thing is just, it's just huge. And it sucks the life out of everything it, in its path. It's just a devastating mob, and it's just a very hostile creature, and it will kill you without a chance. Uh, if you don't have any armor on, or if you're, you know, in the middle of the ocean and you don't have anything to defend yourself. So as, it takes a couple hits with the diamond sword, so it's a pretty tough mob. But these things do drop uh, prismarine shards, and they will drop raw fish. Which is, what the hell is the creeper doing? Uh, like I said, it's a pretty good source, or I didn't say that, but it is a pretty good source of food. Prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. Pris crystals come from the lanterns. Shards come from uh, the guardians. Now, I don't think you can actually craft a sea lantern at this point. But like I said, they uh, they um, they spawn naturally in the world in, in underwater dungeons, so I don't think you're going to be able to craft them. Maybe you will, but maybe you're not. At this point, jack lanterns give off the same glow radius underwater as sea lanterns, so pretty much, you know, if you find pumpkins, then, um, you know, you're pretty much set, because they're the same exact thing, pretty much. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some new blocks and new mobs. I'm going to go ahead and show you the mobs, as I just showed you the guardian. There are two new mobs added besides the guardian, and it's a rabbit and a endermite. Now, the endermites are probably going to be found in the end, hence the name endermite. They may be found in the nether. I highly doubt the overworld, but I, I mainly think it's going to be found in the end. What they are is basically a, um, uh, what's it called? I like calling them Jebs, because that's what the Yogscast call them, uh, and that's just what I, that's what I call them too. But they are like silverfish. That's right, you've heard it here first. Actually, you probably haven't, but they look like silverfish. They don't look like silverfish, but they make the same noise pretty much, and they look a bit different. They will attack you if you're in survival mode. Obviously, I'm not, so they're not attacking me. Looks sort of like a jelly thing. Uh, but obviously, you know, one hit with a diamond sword will probably do the job. This little guy just took off. I don't I have no idea where he went. Uh, but yeah, they, they had the same concept of silverfish. So think of silverfish, but in the nether with the same, like a nether, or not a nether. Uh, think of silverfish in the end, called endermite, that's what they're called. So yeah, that's basically what they are, uh, that's basically what they do. They don't really do much, as far as I know, besides give off like sort of a nethery looking end glowy thing, sparkles uh, off the radius of its body. But yeah, we have rabbits as well! Yay, rabbits! There are uh, multi 
different colors. There's tan, white, black, and brown, and some other colors, I think. Maybe those are just it for now. Um, this is going to be Rabbit Island. But the, <laughs> the way the rabbits move are kind of weird because they're not too smooth. They're really bouncy and, like, just define gravity. These bunnies have the same kind of physics and, you know, mass of, like, being on the moon. So, that, I mean, obviously they're going to be updated, but for now, these are what they look like um, in this snapshot for 1.8. So, yeah, I mean, these are pretty cool. Uh, these will drop rabbit's foot uh, and raw hide or rabbit hide and uh, rabbit meat, which can be cooked, which I'll be showing you guys. As you can see, it's got some rabbit hide. It drops a rabbit foot, which is pretty rare because, obviously, rabbit's foots are actually meant to be good luck charms. But uh, in Minecraft, they are actually used in potions to create things. Not entirely sure which kind of potion, but they are um, used to create potions, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I will correct that in the description, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Now, I just got two rabbit's foot, so I mean, it's not that rare, but they're not entirely common either. Um, so yeah, that's basically those two mobs. Now, uh, we else, we else got, we other, we, <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> we got an armor stand, which you guys already saw, but like I said, um, it drops, you know, raw rabbit. Cooked rabbit can, you know, be the replaced version of that. Rabbit, rabbit hide. Rabbit stew. And then a rabbit's foot. I don't really know how to craft any of these recipes because this is a brand new game or a uh, game update. So if you want to see how to craft these items, go ahead and go on the wiki. Try to Google it. Or I'm pretty sure some other YouTubers have uploaded videos about this update covering that and have actually covered the um, concept of crafting these items. Now, I'm going to spawn in a sheep because one of the coolest things about this update has got me going about the sheep. Now, there's a huge update about the sheep. Oh, you want to come in my house, buddy? You want to come in my house? Come on in. Oh, sorry, lad. Sorry, mate. <laughs> All right, anyway, we have sheep here. Now, um, obviously, there's different types of sheep. We all know that. Nothing has changed about the physical color and stuff of the sheep except one thing. They drop meat. Yes, this is a long-awaited update, and I'm so happy they added it in here. Um, they drop... I just got raw rabbit on accident. Uh, but they drop mutton, which is an amazing meat. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has the same uh, quality of, you know, pork, pork chops, or whatever you want to call them, steak. And then, of course, the uh, rabbit meat, uh, which is just called raw rabbit. But this is called mutton. I've been waiting forever and wanting Mojang to actually put meat into uh, sheep because sometimes, you know, you're always walking around Minecraft. Sometimes there's a large, um, just a large scarcity of food. There's just no, sh there's no food around. The duck has once again spoken for the, th oh my gosh, a suicidal bunny. Oh my God, the duck is going off. Suicidal bunnies. Jesus, that was crazy. But yeah, um, like I said, sometimes when you're walking around in Minecraft, there's not really a lot of meat around as far as, you know, bread. That's not meat. As far as food goes, like, you know, bread, pork chops, steak. So Mojang added mutton to add a um, diverse group of uh, food in, Mo in Minecraft. So yeah, this is basically all that have been added so far in the physical blocks. If I missed anything, they will be in the description, so be sure to check that out in the description. I'm getting some frame rates because of the rain, um, the freaking animals everywhere. Uh, let me see if clear entity will work. That does not work. Um, oh, shit. That just cleared my inventory. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's basically all the updates for the physical Minecraft. Um, obviously, these ores, or these, not these ores, these blocks here, which are the granite, diorite, and andesite blocks, which are pretty common. This is a... Um, pretty secluded island and a chain of islands off the coast over there and I just decided to live here because this looks like a little cool house here uh, that I would build so I did that you guys saw the new animals the new doors the new mechanics um, and I will show you guys some bug fixes and like I said about multi-threading earlier multi-threading is actually something that will generate your minecraft terrain a lot quicker I don't know if it's in the snapshot but we will try um, let's just name this multi thread I think this is part of the game I'm not too sure I was talking to one of my friends on a server the other day 
and he was telling me about multi-threading. I never heard of that before, so I'm like, okay, well, what is this? So I decided to test it out, see if it actually is in the game. But basically, multi-threading generates the terrain quicker. Now, if you guys hate... The duck is going nuts. I don't. <laughs> my phone is, like, broken, so it doesn't really work. I am recording while generating this terrain, and my computer is doing a lot of stuff. So as you can see, the terrain does generate pretty freaking quick. Uh, a lot quicker than it usually does. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's pretty quick, okay, yeah. Multi-threading is going to be in the game, and it's a very, very amazing feature. Because if you have a decent computer and you're not recording like me, your terrain and world will load immediately. No lag. And, uh, oh, look at this waterfall coming down. This is an amazing world! I think I'm going to do a Let's Play on this. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so that's basically all the new features of this. Holy shit! Look at this! I'm putting the seed in the description for you guys. This... This is amazing. Um, but some bug fixes are not fixed. As you can see, you can see the clouds through the water and particles of torches and stuff when you break blocks. But that's okay. This game mode, or this, not this game mode, this game update is obviously still in development. So it is still going to be going to updates. And as it does, I will be uh, doing, you know, reviews and um, videos about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if I, if I miss anything in the video, Please check the description if you're a Minecraft fan. Just check the description in case I miss anything. So that way you can be sure you know everything about this update. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And have an amazing day. Peace.